Peace be upon you, brothers and sisters. I would like to give all praises and glory to Yahweh Baasham Yahushai, Barakoth Yahweh Baasham Yahushai Baasham Rekakodash. Give double honors to apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to our sincere brothers, pushing this 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 truth throughout the four corners of the earth. And shalom to our sincere brothers and sisters. First and foremost, fearing Yahweh Sham Yahushai. Um, I want to name this video. Forget not, which is important. We are know we know for sure through the spirit of Yahweh Sham Yahushai. The signs that are before us that Yahweh Shai is returning very soon. But you must never forget, never forget, which is important. I'm going to go to the book of Corinthians. The book of Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, chapter 13. I start from 1. And it says here, Faith, hope, and love. Charity. But the greatest of these is love. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity. So when you look at that word charity, right? Strong's G. Twenty five or twenty six Salakio. Let me go up further. <clears throat> so like here. Right, Strong's G. Twenty six, right? And it says here <clears throat> affection, goodwill. Love, benevolence, brotherly love, all right? And in the Greek, agape love, agape, you know, agape, if I'm pronouncing that right. So when I checked out what agape is, from the Greek, Agape, brotherly love, charity. In ecclesiastical use, the love of God, Yahweh, for man and man for God, Yahweh. All right? So the love of Yahweh for man and man for Yahweh. And <clears throat> Yahweh Bahasham Yahushai loves us unconditionally. Yeah. No halfway love or quarter love. He loves us incomplete. Completion, he loves us. Complete love, unconditionally. So let me start again. Though I speak with tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, not charity, 
I am become a soundless brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift, right? Because all gifts come from the Lord, isn't it? And though I have the gift of prophecy and understanding of mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. So if you think about it, everything comes from the Lord. Blessing, gifts, comes from the Lord. And charity. If you don't have charity. So in other words, you could know the scriptures. Of course, we know that wisdom and knowledge is the is, 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 is stability of, of the time. We know about all that. But according to the scriptures here, no matter what you do, if you have faith, and faith is very, very, very important. But according to the scriptures here, if you do not have charity, love for a brother, love for a sister, all right? It's just hopeless. It's just worthless. So I have to read that again because that's very important. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, all faith, so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burnt, and to have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. Charity suffereth long, and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself. Is not puffed up. Doeth not behave behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth, beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things, Charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail, whether there be tongues, they shall cease, whether there be knowledge, it, can, it shall vanish away, for we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spake as a child, I understood as a child, I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass, darkly, but then face to face, now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. And now abideth faith, hope, charity. These three, but the greatest of all, Salakia, the greatest of these 
is charity. Right? Brotherly love. Sisterly love. We must love one another. We cannot forget that. And we take this very lightly. And we do, of course we do have love for one another. But it is very serious. It is very, very important. The love. I've said this many times, right? Lord willing, if we do make it into the chariots, Lord willing, when you when you be changed in a twinkling of an eye, you're going to feel real love. Right? You're going to feel real love. We are going to feel real love. Lord willing that we make it. And love is a beautiful thing to feel. Because some part of our life, you know, we felt some form of love. And we know what it's an it's a nice, nice feeling. So if you get in true love for a brother and you get in true love from a sister, that just beats everything. That charity. Brotherly love. Let me go to first John. Uh, four. Uh, only a couple of verses are going to be First John four, verse seven, to about ten. Yahweh is love. Beloved, let us love one another. For love is of Yahweh, and every one that loveth is born of Yahweh, and knoweth. Yahweh. He that loveth not knoweth not Yahweh, for Yahweh is love. In this was manifested the love of Yahweh towards us, <laughs> and that unconditional love the Lord has for us. It's so great, it's so powerful. Because that Yahweh sent his only begotten son, that's true love, into the world that we might live through him. That's why I have to give praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Yeah? Herein is love, not that we loved Yahweh, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. Let me double check what propitiation means. The action of propitiation or appeasing a power, a spirit, or person, right? Atonement, especially that of Yahweh Shai Amashiach, right? And that is true love. What our power did for us, <clears throat> sending his only son. which died for our sins. And because Yahweh Shai Amashak loved us so much, he also died for his sins, for his past times, his past lives. So we must never, ever forget. And 
I know for a fact brothers have gone into, you know, lessons into charity and it's serious stuff. It's serious business. Do not take it lightly. When you go to a brother and you say Shalom and you greet him, you better not have no hatred towards a brother. And a sister, if you do the same thing when you greet your sisters, you better not have no hatred towards a sister. So we have to very, for, to make sure, make sure they're very important never to forget about charity, brotherly love. Because we know, we know, Yahweh Sham Yahusha is all love. We know. Based on the true doctrine, we know about this love. What is true love? Following his laws, statutes, and commandments. And he's, and our power said that we must love one another. All right, so that's all I want to say is to remind us in these last days to continue. We, we're going through the struggle, but we must continue to remember one another with love. Sincere love, yeah? Shalom.